Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Gary as you know and um, I just thought I'd give a short video this afternoon. I've been doing some uh, work in Stella, um, learning how to put a, a spice wrap up. Um, a few days ago um, I'd mentioned over the weekend about um, putting a board here. Um, where I could fit a, a, a spice rack on. Um, I put the board in, give it a nice shape round there, and I'm on doing a, a, a spice rack. Um, I just found a bit of old broom shank. Um, I've cut two holes with my Christmas tree cutter, and, and I'm on fitting some dowel in the edges to stop, um, sort of stop the, um, the pole sliding out. Um, what I should have done, and I didn't realise, um, this bit of wood here needs to go on this far corner. And what I should have done is put it on, put it on first um, before I screwed this in uh, the backboard. Um, as I said here on um, Sunday uh, on the channel, that it's all about learning, you know. Um, what I have done is I've found, um, the sun's in my eyes, sorry. I found a, a good editing software, which I'm, I'm studying this morning. I put um, some pictures off Rekka when we were there last weekend and uh, put some background music on. And um, hopefully it's worked well. We've had, I think, 17 views on that, which is good. Um, so guys, this weekend, hopefully, me and Sandra will be away. Um, if I can get this spice rack in for her. Um, she loves cooking, so you'll have seen on Saturday when I tried to cook um, a pizza in our Ridge Monkey. It was all right um, when Sandra had ate the um, pizza, she said underneath was still a little bit um, sort of too hard and a bit soft in the middle. But uh, hey ho, we're cooking on gas, not electric. Um, gas is a lot better and it tends to cook a lot quicker so <clears throat> I thought I'd give a, a quick little tour of the van why don't we so here ignore all the stuff I've got wood all over um, originally the the van used to have a kitchen along here if you can see me guys I still don't know how to turn the, the camera around uh, manually um, we used to have a, a kitchen here and along this side <clears throat> was sort of a, another unit um, right the way along here and sort of a bed pushed right the way back now, and we're pardon the mess here I'm busy doing some woodwork if Sandra sees this she'll kill me um, there used to be a bed went right the way along here um, and <clears throat> I bought the the, uh, Stella off a, a very good friend of mine and I just want to put me on touch to the van so uh, a good friend of mine Wayne um, who's ex-military like myself had um, give me a hand with the van so this this sort of set here uh, under, underneath this side of the, the, the van is all the um, electrics I have uh, two 130 amp um, batteries with an inverter, 1500 watt inverter. Um, we have, uh, I think it's a 120 solar panel on the roof with the, um, if I can put that, if you can see it, uh, and PPT in the back cupboard with an external um, on the outside of the cupboard. We have um, sat nav and uh, radio with mp3 there and the reason why we have the sat nav in the back so we can plan journeys when we're in the back of the van we have a 21 inch tv um i'll just move these pillows here 21 inch tv with um if i can put that on to show you it'll come on in a couple of seconds with a all-round camera system on the van this is our aerial and basically um what we do here is we wind it up and lock it into place and on the um roof of the van the aerial obviously lifts up um 
inside the van, uh, the back of the van, sorry, we have um, a basic uh, third foot um, toilet um, with lightning. There's a, a mirror in there. Um, we don't, in the van, we don't have a shower, but we do. We have a solar shower, um, which um, when we open the back doors, we use a shower curtain with some magnets, um, keep the shower up. Um, nobody wants to see my bloody um, state of my, my bloody body. Um, and we use a solar power, a uh, solar shower, sorry, which was 13 pound off Amazon. Uh, we leave it out in the sun, or we can put warm water in. We leave it, leave it out in the sun, that obviously the sun warms the water up and that's how we have a shower. Um, and that's how we do it. I've just knocked the cameras up. But anyway, we have um, a camera system in the van. Uh, we have lighting all the way through the cupboards and reading lamps there. Um, moving forward, we have, um, if I can just show you if that helps a little bit. We have um, our LPG 14 um, kilowatt bottle which is all secure in there um, we have an underneath cupboard in the microwave for Sandra's pots and pans we have a microwave we have a 240 fridge now with that fridge was in the van when I bought it off my friend we're looking at um, removing that fridge and um, putting some shelving in there and the reason being even though the inverter powers the fridge it's draining the battery with it being a 240. So either we'll put some shelves in there or we'll invest in a 12 volt um, fridge. What we do use at the moment is, I used to be a lorry driver and my lorry fridge, which is 12 volt, we just put that there. Um, there's not much to see here. I've got wood all over the place um, and I need to try and get it tidied up. Um, no no hot water running in the van we just boil the kettle basic and simple here we have um i got this idea from greg virgo if you don't know who greg virgo is you can go over his channel he has a mercedes sprinter van which he um, converted and built everything himself i got that idea for him although this switch here i'm looking for the push button what greg virgo has got so greg if you're watching the channel if you don't mind um sending me a message um we also have a facebook um you can go over to our facebook account uh, which is let's get away adventures on facebook and you can leave us a comment on there <clears throat> i haven't not yet set the message channel up but i will do that um like i say guys if the camera's all over i do apologize i have got a selfie stick which came on monday for the phone um it's in the house at the moment um and i got a tripod um for the phone but when i'd looked at it the top bit is a screw in bit and as i mentioned on saturday when i was doing the pizza i couldn't remember that other camera we had um and it was a gopro i think it's the first edition or second edition gopro we have I don't know how to use it that well. So hopefully moving forward, we'll be using the GoPro. And um, <clears throat> if anybody can tell me what sort of fitting I can get under that tripod, it's like a screwy in thing at the top. If anybody can tell me what sort of fitting I need to be able to either screw the phone, uh, place the phone onto it, or the GoPro. The front of the van, guys, we have... Um, a sat nav at the front of the van with um dash cam um which is important a lot of insurance companies require that you have um a dash cam now normal um lighting in the roof sun sunlight in the roof um which is just a basic push up and i am looking for a 12 volt one um i know darren from the urban motorhome and Greg Virgo and John from John and Mandy. Uh, they have got a fantastic one. Um, and I think it's 300 and odd pound. Obviously I haven't got that sort of money at the moment. Christmas is coming. 
but if anybody wants to put me in the right direction where I can get a, a decent one, um, you know, leave me leave me a message, guys. So it was a, a short movie. Uh, sorry, short movie. Who do you think I am? Steven Spielberg. It was a sh short um, <clears throat> sort of video. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll speak to you all later. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you like the little clip I've just uh, placed on with yourselves, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, put the thumbs down. It's quite fine, guys. God bless and enjoy the West Wednesday. Bye-bye.